Bills heavy favorites win that division at minus 180. Right behind them, we find the Patriots tied with the Dolphins at plus 400. Position battle you're watching with the Patriots, it has to do with that crowded running back room. Yeah, it does. And the Patriots are always good for a summer surprise, right? I mean, last year, we all thought it was going to be Cam Newton to start the year. And then all of a sudden, he's cut and it's Mac Jones out of the gate in week one. Maybe we get something like that this summer in the backfield. And you know, you can look at this from the top to bottom there with the, with the Patriots backfield. Let's start with Damian Harris. He is the clear bell cow back, the starter for this team last year, led the team in touches, led the team in rushing yards. He is clearly the guy, but he is in the final year of his deal. The Patriots did draft two running backs at the NFL draft a few weeks ago, and they have Ramondre Stevenson, who could clearly ascend to a number one running back role in this offense, was tremendous in those short spurts we saw last year when he received the bulk of the carry. So if all of a sudden, Stevenson looks ready to ascend, there's maybe no long-term deals on the horizon there with Harris. Who knows? We've seen them deal Sony Michelle to the Los Angeles Rams last summer. Is it possible they do something like that with Damian Harris this year? I wouldn't rule it out, even though the Patriots do love to run the ball there in that backfield. And as you go down that roster, James White, clear staple in this offense. He, you know, that pass catching role in New England out of the backfield has certainly been a go to option, whether it's Shane Vereen. Kevin Falk, Deion Lewis, and James White's probably the most recent example of that. But they did draft Pierre Strong out of South Dakota in the fourth round. You got to remember, he was tied for the fastest 40 time at the NFL Scouting Combine among running backs. If he is ready to go and is good in pass protection early, and James White, who's coming back from that hip injury that forced him to miss a bulk of last season, you could see something go on there. If James White's healthy, maybe that's bad news for the likes of J.J. Taylor, another electrifying guy in that backfield. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.